Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 2 of this SS3 house. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we started ground floor, or first floor. So we're gonna continue working on this. And probably we're gonna add in some dimensions afterwards and some furnitures. So let's go to insert. Let's add in furniture. So I'm going to load family and then let's load some beds. So I'm just going to use this one, load it in and then go back to architecture and click component and let's add in some beds. So let's add a twin bed on this area. So here here and here and then let's add in some furniture so go back to load family under insert and then let's go back and then furniture Let's put some seating. Let's add this and the sofa. After that, let's add it here. So we're good for now here. Let's look at the other. Let's add this chair. Press escape and go back to insert and then let's load more families. So let's Add in plumbing, architecture, fixtures. Let's add in some bathtub. And let's load more, not just the bathtub. Let's add in some shower. And then urinals. Uh, actually, we don't need urinals. We need toilets. And then vanity. Okay, so let's add this vanity here. And then go back to architecture and components. And we just need to add all of this. And once we add this, we could use CS or create similar and our life will be easier so we have the top 
and then let's add in the toilet. Let's add one here. We need to add one here as well. In here. So there's a lot of washroom in, in this design. And then let's add this one as well. So now we could create, uh, you, you could use create similar and just place it. Okay, so let's go back to in, in, uh, insert and load family. We need more furnitures. So let's look at tables. We need coffee table and then round and dining. And then after that, just click component. Let's add this one over here. And then later on, we're going to add in some chairs. So dining table. Let's add this dining table right about here. And then the coffee table, we're going to add that coffee table right here. And then for this one, there's actually a shower here. So we could add in our tub. So let's click on component and look for the top. So we're good with this. Let's add in a toilet here. And then a shower. So I rather change this to a tub. Okay, good enough. This one will need to be moved upwards. And let's add in a wall here. So there's going to be a wall here. 
and then it will have a wall opening like that I'm going to insert a different chair So I'm going to put this one. I'm going to add it here. Also here. Like that. And even for the main. And I'm going to select this one and just mirror it to make it faster. And then for the rest of them, I'm just going to add some detail lines. So I will need to go to annotate and then detail line. This will be a thin line. And then from here, I'm going to add it like that. There's going to be a fridge here. I'm going to mirror this. Select both of them again. And then mirror again. I'm going to create the island. So I'm just estimating it. And I'm looking it at uh, so something like that. And then we also have it here. Just gonna copy this one and place it right here. And then for the sink, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna copy, or rather, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use CS. And then detail line again. There's one here as well. There's going to be a washer right about here. And then why not use this as well for this island. Use 
you also need to de put the detail on this closet, walk-in closet. And also here on this spot. We're just going to move this one here to give it some room. Some more detail line. I'm just going to insert more chair. I'm going to use this. And put it here. And we also need to put it right here. And then let's add a detailed line here. So it looks like an office here. And lastly, let's add one more chair here. like that and let's add in an entertainment system here and also here so so far this is what we have done so let's add in some dimension and then we're going to change it to enter entire wall and then click on option with intersecting intersecting grid. I might have to pull out the grid bubbles so that we could add in more dimensions. And then let's add in the total dimension. And then let's put this, let's leave this like this. And then we could do the dimension for all the grid lines. So, so we're going to leave it like this for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.